Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Gunger! It's time for round two against Isabelle, the Necromancer. And apparently there isn't a female word for Necromancer, so... Okay, well, there you are. But anyway, I want Julio to be my ace, as usual. Don't you remember who Isabelle was? I mean, it wasn't that long ago. But anyway, okay, so I want Julio up top there. I also want uh, Valerie up top as well. Uh, let's see. Now, I want to hold on to the Griffin Talon, but I'm going to give her the Bloody Claw, which I upgraded off screen there, and uh, that'll be really nice for her. Let's see. Let's get rid of the Lorica. Yeah, that ought to be good enough for you. And make sure she's got the Savage Hunter, and I want the Amazon Boots because the counter number for that is 1, which matches my Bloody Claw. So I might be able to get a good hit in there, or extra hit with that. Let's see, I also want, let's see, Paulo can go there, and Alyssa can go there, and I think we're good. I think this is the last battle in the game where we only get four party members to use in one battle. <laughs> well, I'm not really using it, but that doesn't mean I just want to give it away. How about a bribe? No? Okay. Never mind, then. wonder when the last time Gunnier had an, a successor anyway. I don't know, but... Okay, so, let's see. First things first, we want to get some base points. So, let's see. Hmm. Okay, Alyssa, why don't you go get that? And then I want Paulo to uh, get going there. Now, we've got actually three groups of enemies to deal with here, so it's going to make this battle a little tricky, but uh, nothing we can't handle. Okay, Paulo, let's see. I want you to go there. Oh, by the way, with the two golems over here, you don't want to line up Alyssa and Paulo like, vertically like that, because otherwise they'll be able to hit both of them at once with that earthquake attack you just saw. So, let's see. I can hit both of them. Let's uh, get rid of the enemy guard. All I want is the boost from the overdrive that I gave Alyssa there. So, those two are going to kind of sit there for a while. And meanwhile, I want to get Julio and Valerie in on the action. Hopefully, that will not interrupt the spell. I don't think it does. Okay, good, good. We're still going. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we've got a little bit of time. Let's send Valerie up here. Get her moving. And I don't even know if I'm going to worry about those golems down below. I mean, they can't attack us from all the way down there, and they can't jump. So, yeah, I don't know how that's going to work. But. Okay, um, did the sound just cut out? No? Okay. No, I guess we're still good. Okay, so let's see. Now, I want to put Julio here, so that way the skeletons here can't jump from here to up here, which is within their height or jump tolerance, and then they could circumvent us. So this is kind of like a choke point that I want to block off here. Uh, no, I do not need rocks, but thanks anyway. And then hopefully I'll be able to get Valerie moving, too. Okay, you're doing okay. You've taken a little damage, but let's get Valerie moving first. Okay, so I want to put her there. Can I hit the box? No. Okay. Well, we'll at least uh, get the... Uh, what is it? The base point there. And I also want to destroy that box. Not because I actually care what's inside of it, but so that way the skeletons can't jump there and, again, circumvent my blocks there. Okay, Paulo, you got a little bit of time to wait. Julio, let's go to uh, Alyssa there and uh, heal up. Apollo there. Not to mention, uh, work on your specialty experience, too. Okay, Apollo, um, you know, let's wait for uh, Alyssa to finish whatever she's doing. Um, no, I don't want to move you, but I do want to move Valerie. And, yeah, let's go after the box. Okay, one more ought to do. I'll grab the base point, even though I'm not going to be keeping it for very long. The skeletons will eventually get around to us. 
By the way, that 3% you saw there, that's also a heal to his vitality if he had actually used it. Not that I have, but it is there. So, okay, good. Oh, by the way, uh, ske these skeletons have rapiers, which ignore uh, weapon guard. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to block too much. But they do also have, like, a regular one-handed sword as well. Okay, so let's see. How long until you get your turn? Um, let's see. Well, you're not going to get in range anyway, so not worry about it. We're just going to kind of let Julio stand pat there for a little while. And let's see. Are there skeletons down below yet? Not over here yet. Okay. Well, then I won't worry about it. But eventually, I will want to move Paulo forward a little more. So that way, well, he can attack the skeletons down below there. And we get a good boost from Alyssa there. So, yeah, I mean, Paulo and Alyssa kind of complement each other there with their uh, hand armors. That's why I gave them what I gave them. Okay, Valerie, why don't you finish off the bot? Awesome. Now it'll take him a lot longer to uh, get around back to us. Um, no, I don't think I need to change up anything. We're good, we're good. I could just get out of the way of those two golems, too, but I want to work on the weapon mastery for Apollo there. Mm, Alyssa will be fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, let's see. Julio. Okay, so you are there. And, okay, so what I want to do now, let's see. I want to wait for Valerie to get her turn. So let's uh, just heal up Paulo again, whether he needs it or not. Just to uh, fill in some time and do something with it. Okay, now Valerie, I want her to move... Hmm. I could move up here because I got lucky with the chest spawn here that blocks them from jumping up there. But I don't think I want to do that. I want to put her here so that way she can knock skeletons off the battlefield to the left there. So I want her to stay right there. And since I have three base points, both Julio and Valerie are in range of each other to boost with the uh, Savage Hunters. That way we'll be able to somewhat bypass the guard rate of the shields that the skeletons are equipped with. Okay, Paulo. Actually, you know what? Let's go to Julio. Now, this is why I was waiting on him, because now, with the boost, ha ha! Doesn't guarantee it, but it helps a lot. Now, what I want to try and do is I want to get the two skeletons in between Julio and the golem there to set up infinite knockback. Well, it's not infinite, but it's close enough. Okay, so now that skeleton from behind will get up there. Oh, this might work now. Come on! <laughs> Off a counterattack at that. Wow. <laughs> so that's basically how infinite knockback works. 40,000. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the first time I did that, I, d I wasn't even intending on doing it. It was by accident in uh, battle number 11 there. And I infinite knockback like five enemies or something into each other. And I was like, what the hell just happened? I looked it up, and I was like, oh, okay. I don't know if that's a bug or not, but if it is, I don't care. <laughs> but, okay, so now what I want to do is I want to get rid of these skeletons before they can revive. So, we're going to take a break on the golems there. And, let's see. Okay, let's see, I can get here. And I can even heal Julio while I'm at it. So, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so heal Julio and purge one of the skeletons off the battlefield there. Um, let's see. I don't need to be boosted from that. Now, one thing I want to try and do is get more tactics points. So that way, when it, it becomes nighttime, uh, I'll be able to scramble out of the way of a Hades invitation from Isabelle. Because, well, she can only use that during nighttime. Okay, so how's the other skeleton doing? Yeah, we got a bit of time. So, let's see... Can Alyssa do anything with the uh, golems there? Probably not. 
I could heal uh, Paulo there. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, he's out of range. And I don't want to put Alyssa here because, yeah, the golems would be able to hit both of them that way. So, hmm. Yeah, let's see. What's your uh, tactics value there? Tactics two, three. Where are you guys? Okay, you've got one and two. Okay. Well, I'm not moving Paulo, so. Yeah, let's just move Alyssa. Just to get some more tactics points, not even to actually do anything. That'll be fine. Okay, Julio. Yeah, we're not ready yet. Um, actually, you know what? Let's, uh... Yeah, let's move you there. Temporarily. Again, just to get tactics points. And, okay. So now, let's move you... Hmm. Let's move you here. So that way, Paulo can move forward to hit the skeletons down below, maybe. See, how much time do we got? We got about ten hours in game time before uh, it's nighttime again. Okay, so Paulo, yeah, you're good enough. Let's uh, get rid of that other skeleton, and then we'll be in really good shape. Oh, by the way, you don't want to stand right next to a skeleton because they have, uh, I think it's called Megaton Punch, and they can break a random piece of equipment, which would be really bad. Uh, they can't break weapons with it, though. Just armor, and I think they can break accessories with that, too. I forget. But anyway, I want to put uh, Valerie back up there. Awesome. Okay, well, we did pretty good there. Now, the rest of the skeletons, I'm probably going to kill with... Or not knock them off the field. Just route them off. Don't even bother uh, purging their corpses. Unless it comes down to it and, well, okay, there's nothing else I can do. But anyway, let's see. How soon is it guy going to get his turn? Not for a while, so you know what? Let's go with this. I'm going to want Julio to get out of the way, though. So I want to be careful to remember to move him out of the way, because sometimes I forget, and, well, that would be bad. Okay. So, Paulo, I'm probably going to be doing the next time. With. Why you would want to boost that way, I don't know. Because it had no charge time on it, but okay. Okay, so let's see. Oh, you know, I should probably explain how infinite knockback works there. See, what happened was I had these two skeletons here, and the golem, who is immune to knockback. So when Julio hit the skeleton here, it knocked the skeleton here down to this tile, and he couldn't push the golem back. So what happened was you got two skeletons trying to occupy this one tile and they just went back and forth, back and forth infinitely until they both died. So, yeah, the game kind of freaks out like that. And I've done that with, like, way more enemies, too. You could do that with golems as a wall or, well, just a wall itself. Or you could do that, like, with uh, Isabelle or whoever the enemy ace is because enemy aces are weak or immune to knockback. Okay, so we're done here. So, let's see. Can I hit both skeletons and Isabelle? I can. Let's see. Okay, so will that work? Um, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, let's get a little boost from Alyssa there as well. Awesome. So, yeah, infinite knockback. Not really practical, as you can see. Because most battlefields are not going to have, like, these stairs like that lying everywhere for you to do that with. But it's pretty cool. I, I was laughing my ass off the first time I saw that. I was like, what's going on? Okay, um, yeah. Why don't you heal up? Might want to think about healing up Alyssa soon. Oh, man. She's going to get out of the way. Oh, well. All I really care about are the golems. By the way, the uh, golems and skeletons, I think, are immune to status ailments. I know the skeletons are, but I don't know about the golems. But whatever. It. Oh, uh, Julio. Oh, phew! I almost forgot. Okay, so let's see. If I go here... Hmm. Yeah, I'll be out of range. We'll be fine. So, let's see. I'm probably going to get Valerie a turn soon. Okay. 
get a little vitality back if I ever need it. I did kind of move Paulo there a little prematurely, but... Okay, so let's see. I want to go... Yeah, let's attack that one. Hopefully I can get some of that HP back. I'm taking a bit of hits here. Good, good. Yeah, look at that damage! And HP drain. Way better than Gungnir. Although Gungnir can hit more than one enemy at a time sometimes, but... Oh, well. Okay, so let's see. We got you, you... Let's see. Okay, I can't hit the two golems and its belly at once. So I'm just going to go after uh, the golems for now. So let's see. Let's go there. Make sure they can't get out of range, and we should be good. Awesome. Hopefully uh, Alyssa will be able to stay alive long enough, too. Unfortunately, she can't hit herself with her own healing there. It only targets adjacent units. Okay. Okay. Yo, also, look on the... Uh, Oh, how close are we? Yeah, we're getting close to uh, nighttime, so just something to keep in mind with uh, Isabelle there. I can't knock you off the field, battlefield, even if that guard railing wasn't there, but I don't have any other abilities I can use right now. It's too bad we got the lava rod so late in the game. Because I could have gotten another ability that deals a lot of damage to uh, golems in general. Let's see, is Julio close enough to boost Valerie there? Well, first things first. Let's check Julio. Okay, you're going to get your turn not anytime soon. So, let's see. Yeah, I can't boost that thing. Yeah, Julio's too far. Okay, so how about we just move you out of the way there for now. Get you reasonably close. To, uh, Valerie, and then we can do that. Ow. Now, what I want to try and do is I want to have Valerie knock that one bit, uh, skeleton off the battlefield. So hopefully I can do that. Not to mention I could use some healing. Okay, let's give this one a try. Let's see. 78% chance. Should be pretty good. Or not. That was bad timing. Is, uh... Taking a look at, uh, Paulo there. Well, fortunately, during the day, Isabelle can't do a whole lot. Okay, can I kill the two golems here now? Good. What about, uh, Valerie there? I'll let her get her turn, and then we'll, uh think about what we can do. Um, let's see. I don't even need the boost, you know? So just go with the regular spell. We'll be fine. Okay, Valerie, one more time. 78% chance. Odds are I should be able to do this. Come on. Ah, oh, man. What are the odds of that? You know, I'm going to look that up. I'm going to calculate that. 22% times 22%. That's a 4.8% chance of them blocking two attacks in a row. Ridiculous. Oh, well. At least I got rid of the golems, and they don't have anything to drop, so I'm not worried about that. 